Capricorn, this is all about you. Welcome back, guys. Um, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is a full oracle energy reading. It is not a horoscope. So it is um, wherever Capricorn energy influences your natal chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, wherever it influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies and themes for the next week or so. I don't put dates on my videos anymore because I realized that people didn't really care about them. <laughs> so uh, we did away with that, but I still do a Capricorn video every single week. So if you want it fresh off the press, please subscribe to the channel. You'll help the channel grow and you'll get the videos as soon as I make them, as soon as I upload them. Um, this is half a reading. This is the first part of a reading, a full energy reading, which you can still gain a lot of wisdom from. But I always include an extended if you want to continue to join the journey um, over, um, over into the extended. That is a full tarot card spread to articulate the messages, broaden and expand on the messages, and really make it a lot more personal. And it includes your full romance reading for the week as well. Romance tarot, romantic tarot was out on Sunday. I'll put the link above. You can look over there for like a preview as well. Aries? No. Why did I say Aries? Because I know I'm talking to Capricorn. Oh, I know why. Because I was watching a meme. <laughs> I was watching a meme about Aries. That's why it was in my head. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Let me say this to you. There is still heavy Aries influence here. Let's see, Capricorn. Let's see what your messages are. Okay. The energy that's crowning your reading. Hold on. You're divided. That's that's what's going on. You want freedom. You want to run free. You want to not have to play by anybody else's rules. But the person that is confining you to playing by the rules is yourself. If there is like a secret self Capricorn that you're afraid to be, and that is the person with daring, that person that loves it when all four of its hooves are flying off the ground and they're not touching. You secretly adore that feeling of freedom. You adore that feeling of being untethered and not knowing what's going to come next, but you are bound and held back by your own tethers and your own fears and your own inability to not need the scaffolding that is that Saturnian law making law and anything that people tell you you're going to believe like if it's law you're going to believe it you're not going to question it you're going to question people who question it you really have a solid sense of self because of how much you play by the rules but deep down inside you just love that freedom you admire people with the freedom to not even care about the rules you admire the people with the courage to not even think about it to uh go where the wind takes them to um you know ride into unexpected territory to fly to run, to soar. That is your secret dream, Capricorn. And I feel like you are feeling the heaviness of your own need to stick to and cling to the rules. You're feeling the heaviness more than ever now because you're so confined. And the confining keeps getting more and more restrictive. There's more and more restriction coming. There's more and it's almost like it's even too much for you. There's a sense of Every time you, you step a toe in front, there's a little bit of a toe, just put, take, to make a little bit of progress, somebody comes and threatens to chop that toe off. It's, it's become restrictive even for you to the point where you probably are starting to ask questions. Mm, does this have to do with the coronavirus? It may. It may because honestly, you feel completely locked up. Believe in yourself. Believe in who you really are. Um, I think that you're trying to focus on set, like planting seeds or setting things up for the future, maybe planting ideas in people's heads or even trying to network it. This is a sense of planting the seeds for the future or, or more or less Capricorn. Was it you that was buying up all that toilet paper? This is a sense of hoarding or not hoarding, but like, like 
like burrowing for the winter time, or like making plans to like not come out until next year. That's the sense of like uh, saving up for hibernation. You're trying to be really, really uh, frugal with the way that you spend your resources. This is Virgo energy. So it's almost like you're allocating a certain amount of food, a certain amount of, um, of items. You're, you're even you're even even like itemizing your time you're like super intense scheduling to make yourself feel in control in a situation that you just don't feel like you have control over and the more you do the more you long for freedom uh love is all around this is communication this is a gemini energy communication maybe uh through skype through internet through dms through the phone through the radio this is like your one area where you can allow yourself to be free to open up to tell people that you care to i just call to say i love you <laughs> that's the kind of energy of Hearing people's voice, needing to hear their voice, needing to be around them. This is Virgo energy. This is Gemini energy sitting right next to each other. Mercury. So something about communications, needing communications, desperately needing to have people in your life because like one of the, one of the most wonderful things about managing people for you is that you actually do like being around people. Yes. You like being in control of people. You like being the one to set the rules, but you actually like being around people. I don't think people realize it about you, but you kind of need somebody to validate your leadership. So this is a sense of really needing communication, trying to make communications, maybe that plant seeds for the future, staying in touch with people, not wanting to lose touch with people, being worried, having the foresight. This is wise old owl, Aquarian energy, looking out for people, being concerned for others, being concerned for the broader, more, more um, long-term reaching outlooks or prospects, maybe even being able to see clearly where other people can't as to the ramifications coming down the line and like all of this tightening, all of this tightening, you could almost feel the explosion coming. Now, how does this translate into your everyday life? Well, your everyday life is like you're trapped behind bars, but you're dreaming of open spaces. You're, you, it's getting to you as much as it's getting to everybody else. And you feel isolated. There is a sense of loneliness here. There's loneliness. It's almost like, you know, you're the last one standing. You're the, you're the one that hasn't been affected. You're the only one that hasn't been affected. And it's almost like, I don't know. I don't know. How did I get myself here? Like, in other words, how good does responsibility feel when it ends up making you be all alone anyway? That's the kind of question I think you're asking yourself now. It's like, yay, I made it. And I could sit back and like, I could sit back and feel proud of myself, but who was around me to enjoy it with me? And now you're questioning sort of the broader implications of the bigger picture, you know? Um... The abundant universe will provide this is Taurus energy. So something is coming to fruition, um, a sense of abundance. So, you know, this is your central energy. You do have everything that you need. It's true in your world, your you have you, you you are a rock. You have made sure that your world is cared for, that you and yours will always have everything that you need. But here's the conflict that I'm feeling. Did you make your world too small? Did you make your world too exclusive? Did you make it so tight that it suffocated you and took out too many of those people who were the variables, who were not controllable, but at the same time were part of the joy and part of the pleasure? Like ultimately you can have all the resources in the world, but if there's nobody around to enjoy it with, who the cares? Um, spontaneity and chaos. This is Sagittarius energy. Something is coming to a head, something that you're not going to expect, something that's going to surprise you and throw you a curveball. Normally, you hate these, Capricorn, but this is going to feel so good to you, like a fire touching ice, like melting it down to that temperate, um, easy to deal with area. It's almost like this sense of uh, of, of ridiculousness and craziness is making you feel like your life is saved because it's like making you feel alive again. What you didn't realize is 
all this structure was, was suffocating you and all this, uh, it was cloistering you away from everybody. And now it's like this chaos has rattled the cage and suddenly it's like life has returned. It's like that, that fire and that chaos is almost like essential to life. Um, time to heal. 55 this is a change this is a change that could be dangerous but this is also that kundalini card that energy that life force it's your vitality it's the fire that you hold in your belly that essence of you that gets repressed and suppressed and forcefully oppressed by you all the time it's uncoiling it's uncoiling and it's about to burst out. This is that kundalini energy that if you let it out in the bad ways, it could just, it's destructive. But if you conduct it and you trust it and you follow it and you, and you welcome it in, you welcome the energy and you're not afraid of it, this is soothing and healing and restorative. So how are you going to use it? Well, this card implies it's going to come fast. This is entanglements. This is coming together, something loosely coming together, not necessarily having it all together. This is more Gemini energy. There's communication coming in or you're the one reaching out, reaching communications out to other people to, um, I don't know, make offers, make plans, take risks. Um, from it's like, it's, it's going to happen because you're so, you're so in need of a change of something that's different you just want to feel do you see how none of his hooves are on the ground this is exactly what i was talking about when freedom is yours there is an area here where you are free and it could be in communications whether it's through the web or over the phone you're going to take more risks than you would have via communications because you need to take the risks somewhere if you don't take the risk somewhere if you don't conduct this energy to a place a recognizable place it's going to get out of hand and you're going to freaking explode um ooh, life is picking up shooting you and skyrocketing you forward what is your grounding energy capricorn Ooh, capricorn capricorn what is your grounding energy one card is out but i don't want to take it hold on I don't want to take it because really the grounding cards usually work together. Okay, there you go. Okay. Three cards out. First card is surrender now. You refuse to give in. You refuse to surrender. This is the energy of three, of body, mind, and spirit working all together, of getting results and setting the foundation. Um, and, and this card is different right now in the grounding energy. This is a sense of little by little putting something into place. Uh, tend to the small things, starting out small and building slowly. This is about being able to get in there and really pay attention to the minute details. And that's why you're able to, you're able to continue to endure. You're able to resist or endure or, um, um, find some sort of confidence in the future by what you can contribute or how you can focus on deciding that future for tomorrow in it, it like yeah it's like how can i decide the future you're relentless you're relentless in your um nitpicking <laughs> maybe that's what's helping to ground you but i also think that it's really going to start to get in your way hold on i'm going to flip the the camera so that you can see the cards so let's review the cards. Here is your conflict in your crowning energy of not knowing which way to go. Now, ultimately, uh, freedom or being stuck, not evolving, staying. This is a sense of needing to let your wildness out in order to, like being willing, like unwilling to do what you need to do to let your wildness out. Or you, the, the two sides of you conflicting. What was I going to say? This, there's a lot of Virgo energy all over this reading. Virgo and Gemini. Hold on. So Saturn is in Aquarius. Now Saturn is your ruling planet. 
and it hung out for a long time in your hometown of Capricorn. It is now in Aquarius. So what is right and what is law has shifted because the focus of the law and what is right and what the law is supposed to be doing has shifted. So there is a sense, because this is Aquarius energy. So there has been a little bit of a shift of priorities, a shake that has opened up a crack just enough inside of you to make you question and wonder, what is it that I really want? But something more that I was interested in is where is Mercury right now? Because you have so much Virgo, Virgo, Gemini, Gemini, energy, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, energy, Virgo, energy. I said, where is Mercury right now? Mercury is in Pisces. So there could be a lot of communication coming in um, from a Pisces or a lot of communication coming in from something that is emotional, something that is uh, unsettling for you, something that makes you feel more alive because it isn't something that you can control. And it was, is within this, this communication that you are getting your conduit for freedom, that you're able to feel that little bit of allowed, permitted wildness and untetheredness. It's, it's in the communication that you are putting your kundalini energy, that you're focusing that fire energy that's rising from your belly so that it isn't too explosive, but it is explosive. You do like the chaos. I'm telling you right now, secretly, you hope the snake escapes. You want to know why? Because there's rats, there's mice. And honestly, you're kind of sick of dealing with the little nitpicky things. You want this energy to come in and gobble it up. There's something devouring and all consuming about what you're teetering on right now. And you know what, Capricorn? I, I, I really want to know what you're going to decide. Uh, I feel like you're keeping yourself in, in control. Like you, like, in other words, you, you're probably, you're going to, most of you are going to kind of contain yourself and you're going to be responsible and do what you're supposed to do. And you're going to do it by focusing on your schedule. You're going to stay away from flying right into the fire and burning by focusing on setting a schedule, setting limitations, setting restrictions, and nitpicking and focusing on these details. But I'm telling you, underneath what you're fueling yourself with and secretly, it's almost like you have these secret communications or these phone calls or these DMs or something that you're letting your wild, I don't think that it's out in the open though. You're, 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 you have a conduit for your wild side. You're allowing it to eke out in one place. And that is some sort of communications. Could be music because Virgo and Gemini are both like very musical, but there's this, there's like, it could be music. The love is all around. Believe in yourself. It's almost like you get and understand there, there could be something coming into your life in terms of romance too. Let's get into the romance reading. I'm going to do the extended to see exactly what it is that you're playing at, why you're conducting your energy into this way and what's going to come out of it and see what's coming up for you in terms of romance. You could check out the romantic tarot too. Uh, I will see you guys over in the extended Capricorn link is below.